Hello friends, so in the previous episode we created a new GitHub repository and inside we created a new Rails application and a new iOS application. Then in the Rails application we installed device for authentication and in the iOS application we installed Turbo iOS so that we can uh, run the Rails application not only in uh, the web like this but also as an uh, app uh, on mobile. And here we have this emulated uh, uh, iPhone 15 that we opened in Xcode. And you see, now we can uh, sign in with the device both in uh, the web and in uh, mobile. And now we are going to start adding some native mobile uh, uh, interactions. So we're going to start with modals. Now, it is common for uh, pages like uh, new record or edit record to open up in, in modals. And in our case, we are going to open up, let's say, edit my account and uh, pages like login and register in a model. So how can we do it? For this, we are going to use, uh, uh, let's go to the docs of TurboOS and we have this path configuration. And here we have uh, example of like uh, all the pages that are slash new and slash edit should open up in a model. So we are going to make uh, uh, some pages, in our case, uh, login and register open up in a model. Uh, to do this, first of all, we are going to install uh, Turbo iOS in the latest, most modern way. Now, at the moment, we have it running as the uh, just main branch. So here we have Turbo 7.1 running. If we go to our application dependencies, we have the latest major version of Turbo iOS running. And instead, we are going to run this uh, Turbo Navigator branch. So it is a branch that will have many more behaviors, models included, out of the box, uh, available, um, in new Turbo native applications. So hopefully this branch will be merged with main soon, but for now I'm going to copy the branch name. I'm going to uh, put it here. So instead of ma next major version, I will say branch, the branch name, I'm clicking enter. It is going to rebuild the dependencies. And going back to this branch, I'm going to files changed and I'm going to open the uh, docs uh, quick start guide. I will open it in a new tab, and here I have this uh, updated scene delegate for the quick start. I will uh, remove all the content from here, put the updated scene delegate. I will uh, say HTTP localhost 3000, save, um, run application. So it's going to run uh, the application with uh, the latest code from uh, this. Uh, Turbo Navigator branch. And for the moment, everything should work uh, just as uh, before. So we can click around, but uh, still no models. So to make models work, let's uh, open up the docs for path configuration. And here we have this example, uh, JSON. And we're going to store this kind of code in uh, our application in a file named path configuration dot json so uh, i'm going to go to file uh, new file now uh, this is the right way to create files in uh, xcode you can just uh, open it in uh, uh, another code editor uh, and uh, create a file because uh, it will not create correctly so i create this file create the file Okay, and if we look at the git changes, you see it writes to like project dot whatever that it registers a new file uh, path configuration dot json. If you created this file in uh, uh, VS Code, for example, or RubyMine, it wouldn't uh, register the file like this. So um, that's why you need to kind of work with iOS projects in this uh, iOS uh, code editor. Anyway, we created this path configuration. We're going to copy the json and uh, what else do we have so we have this example code i will try putting it in scene delegate but with a small twist so we have let path configuration and uh, we don't have this kind of session defined so i'm going to put it inside our tube navigator path configuration equals path configuration save run application it's running the app and it uh, 
should read uh, the kind of settings we set in this path configuration here. So all the slash new and slash edit should be opened in a model. Okay, we click on login and register and you see it's still not is a model. Why is it so? Because if we go to our Rails app, you see it is slash sign in and slash sign up. So let's uh, try login in and edit uh, our profile. I will go to um, what was my login? Okay, I will go to my profile and uh, it still doesn't open as a model. Let's see the path here. So it is user slash edit. So I would expect this to open as uh, a model. Anyway, let's try. Yeah, there, there is a reason because here it should be not presentation. It should be context. So here, if I look for the word context in this uh, pull request, you see we replace presentation with context. So here I will have context model. And uh, yeah, we have actually also an example for slash sign in. So let's add uh, context model for sign in, or we can just uh, move sign in here. So comma slash sign in uh, and sign up. Okay, so slash new slash edit slash sign in and slash sign up should open in the context of a model. Now I will run one scan. Okay, so you see I rerun the application and it kind of logged me out. But you see, hey, we open the sign in and sign up in a model. So we have basically installed uh, uh, this capability to have some pages open up as models in our application. Now, if we go to the dashboard, uh, yeah, home page works outside of model. If I click on dashboard, it tries to open the dashboard, but I'm not logged in, so it uh, redirects me to sign up and it opens it as a model. So looks uh, quite cool. Now uh, let's uh, save our changes. Uh, So use Turbo Navigator branch, um, path configuration for models. Okay, and uh, now we are going to actually make this uh, path configuration file. We will read this path configuration file not from our iOS application, but we will serve it through our Rails applications. So if you want to change something in this path of configuration, you don't have to resubmit your application to App Store. You can just make this change uh, inside your Rails application and uh, push it uh, as a URL instead of this uh, static file to your iOS application. So um, to do this, we are going to create uh, an endpoint. An uh, endpoint inside our Rails application. Let's uh, open our Rails application and uh, I'm going to create a new controller. So let's go to controllers. Inside I will have uh, a folder named Turbo. Uh, inside I will have a folder named iOS. And inside I will have uh, a, a file named Path Configuration Controller. Uh, you don't have to have uh, all these. Uh, uh, nestings, you could just have like path configuration controller or iOS controller, but this way I think it's a good way to describe everything. So I will say class turbo, the parent folder iOS path configuration, inherits from application controller, dev show, uh, okay, it's a wonderful autocomplete, and uh, we are going to have this kind of uh, JSON inside. So uh, uh, we have rules, okay, and, and, and. And uh, I will also ensure that we don't require authentication to access this, so skip uh, before action, uh, authenticate user. Just in case, if at some point of time you will put uh, before action authenticate user inside your application controller. Okay, so, uh, I have this JSON that we can serve through our Rails uh, 
application. I need to also add the root for this. So uh, I will uh, go and say uh, name space turbo, namespace iOS, get path configuration, uh, comma two, path configuration show. Uh, or I can actually just say uh, resource, resource. Uh, path configuration only show. Okay, let's try navigating to this uh, inside our web browser. So slash turbo iOS uh, slash path configuration dot JSON. Uh, okay, I initialized. Let's search for path configuration. dot json maybe i made a typo somewhere okay uninitialized constant it might be because here i have this auto generate path configuration where it has to be as plural for resources so it's path configurations controller let's see if it works okay uh now i have some kind of typo here maybe too many uh, braces um, let's see, maybe we can simplify if we don't need these settings. Okay, maybe like this. Refresh, okay, uh, has not been defined because we did not set before action authenticate user in the application controller. Let me comment it out. Okay, and we have this JSON uh, served via this URL. And now we need to serve it in our uh sin delegate so here we are reading uh this path configuration from this local file let's actually delete the local file move to trash and uh, here instead of reading from a file we are going to read from uh, our url so the source is going to be not the file but the server so i will say dot server and yeah, I'm going to have uh, uh, the whole URL, I think. Let's try having this URL. Okay. And uh, I get another error, cannot connect. Okay, can not convert. So maybe I should say it differently i will say uh, server i will have root url we have this uh, root url and i will say dot appending and we're going to append the path and the path is going to be uh, not the whole path just uh, turbo ios path configuration okay let's save okay i'm not getting an error i think I will uh, rerun the application and see if uh, it works. So I'm going to log in. It opens in a model. Now let's uh, go back. I will uh, comment these lines out. I will just remove them. I will uh, rerun the application and I expect uh, the login and uh, register pages not to open up as a model. So I click here and you see it is a full page reload. So you see from our Rails application, we kind of send commands to our iOS application. And I think it's really cool. And uh, this way you would have to submit your application fewer times to the app store for uh, review if you want to make some changes in your app. So um, uh, path configuration from your Rails app. Okay, I think it's uh, really cool. Now we can open up some pages in our application as uh, models.